Hi, Rina. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi. Living. How are you? I'm fine. Fine. Are you going to play soccer on Friday? On uh, Friday. Yes. Do you have a team? Tiene como un equipo? Or how do you do it? Uh, un equipo que hemos hecho de la farmacia. Ah, ok. And do you always play soccer? Siempre juega. Siempre. Eh, pues tenía ya quizás como unos 15 años de no jugar. Ah, ok. A long time. Sí, pero sí me ha servido para quitarme el estrés del trabajo un poco. Ajá, ok. Siento que las clases también, como que la mente se le va a otro lado cuando esté estudiando. So I think También. that's also, if you like it, you enjoy it. Cuando uno le gusta algo, lo disfruta. So if you like to study, you can also enjoy studying English and practicing a hobby too. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So Friday, Rina. Friday, yes. soccer. Okay, that's cool. Hi, Katia. Hello, Nelson. Welcome. How are you? ¿Cómo I'm estamos? fine, thank you. You're fine. How is your job? Sí. ¿Qué tal en el trabajo? Eh, bien, un poquito Very movido. Good. Yeah, Very yeah. good. <laughs> All the time. But you, you have to go to the office, right? Usted tiene que ir a la oficina. You have to go to the office. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you like to, to work from home? ¿Le gustaría más trabajar desde casa? Would you like to work from home? Mm, lo que pasa es que el trabajo de nosotros es mero operativo eh, desde uh -huh. oficina. Ajá. Pero si sí, tuviera sí, la sí. posibilidad, ¿le gustaría? No. Mm, no mucho, la verdad. No. no. You prefer to go. You prefer to go to, to the company. Ah, ok. All right. And Katia, how was your day? Did you have a good day? A normal day. A normal day. What time did you go back to your house? Uh, at 7. 7 p.m. Ah, okay, late. Seven, seven. One hour ago. So, yeah. Sí. Did you eat your dinner? Sí. Ah, okay. No, estamos en problemas. <laughs> okay. Okay, welcome Katia. Hi Nehemias. Nice to see you. Hello Mario. Zulma. Good evening everyone. I'm going to take Hello. attendance. 
Hi, Zulma. I'm going to take the attendance really quick. So we start with Daisy Mesquita, Doris de Castaneda, Iris Joana, Jennifer Marcela, Jose Mario. Present. Thank you, Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you, Katia. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela, no, Mauricio Castaneda, Minet Rivera, Nehemías Regalo, Nehemías, I don't hear you. I think there's a problem with the microphone. No, no sound. No. But I, okay, try again. Present. Ah, okay. okay. All right. Yes. Now I hear you. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Present. Thank you. Rafael Barriento. Rina Espinosa. Present. Present teacher. Rosy Meléndez. Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Cepeda. En Zulma, Lorena. Present. Hi, teacher. Present. Good evening. Hi, Rafa. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to have you over here. Thank you. So, guys, I want to start the class by giving you pronunciation tips. Okay, I'm going to teach you a little bit about pronunciation. So, I'm going to share that with you. Give me one moment. Okay. Okay, so we I'm going to teach you the pronunciation of of some words that are kind of similar. Okay, the S H sound, the S H sound and the C-H sound, okay? They are similar, but the, the, the sound is different. C-H, C-H-S-H, okay, S-H sound. The sound is similar to when you are telling someone to be quiet, like when you go to the cinema, you go to the movie theater, People are talking, so you say shh. That is the sound of the CH, like this shh, SH sound. Okay. For example, I'm going to I'm going to share with you some. This one, ship. You make the sound like if you are telling someone to be quiet. Or maybe like the sound of a snake. Think about a snake, una culebra. So it could be similar to that, the sound of a snake. And I will give you some examples. And then we will compare. Okay, so we have the SH sound. Sheep, shirt, shake, shop, shoes, share, she, ship. So if you listen, it's like when you are doing this. SH is different. Okay, but do you understand this one? Si me entendieron la, la pronunciation del SH? Yes, no? Sí, como que si estuvieran callando a alguien, pero sin decirle que se calle, just with the sound. That is the same. Así es el SH. CH is short. Okay, is short. It's like, like this. Imagine, imagine this word. Ch, ch, chamaco. Okay, so that is the CH. Ch, it's short. And 
SH is long. But that one you have to cut it like examples. I'm going to give you examples. And then you can compare. Okay. This one, ship, 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 chip, chi, chip, chair, no chair, 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 chop, chop, charge, charge. Okay. She, sheep, share, shoes, shop, chop. Okay, so this one is short. SH, long, but this one is not. Okay, so let's let's check. Let's see Alberto Aguirre. Hello. Can you please repeat? S H uh, Albert. Ship. Sure. Sure. And the first uh, ship. Which ship. ones? Uh -huh. uh, shake. Shop. Shoes. Shirt. Ship. Thank you. Maybe Alberto a little bit longer. Quizás un poquito más largo. El, el SH. Like share, shoes, shop, shape, shirt. One more time, please. Okay. Ship, mm -hmm. shirt, mm -hmm. shape, mm -hmm. shop, mm -hmm. shoes, shirt, she, ship. Uh huh. That's better. Mm -hmm. That's better. Let's see SH, Nelson. Uh, Alberto. Now CH. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Chair, it's okay? Chair. Mm -hmm. Chip, chop, chair. There you go. For example, this. These two are similar. You have teacher and you have teacher, right? So be careful. If you change the pronunciation, you can say t-shirt, but it's teacher, right? Teacher. Okay, thank you, Alberto. Let's see, Katia, can you please repeat? Okay. <laughs> Ship, shirt, shake, shop, shoot, share, she, ship. Mm -hmm. The yes. other ones? Chair, chip, chop, shirt. Uh -huh. And this one? Teacher. Teacher, yes. Thank you, Katia. Daisy, can you continue, please? Ship, shop, shoes, shirt, ship, shirt, 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 shop. Church. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Daisy. Rene, can you continue, please? Uh, share. I'm sorry. Okay. It's with CH, right? Both SH and CH. Okay. Uh, chip, shirt, shake. Chop, shoot, share, she, she. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Rene. Good and... pronunciation. Oh, and this right. one's right. Sorry. Okay. Continue, please. Um, share, chip, chop, mm -hmm. charge, teacher. Thank you. Uh -huh. Let me see. Nehemiah, can you repeat, please? Do you hear me, Nehemiah? Yes. 
I don't hear you. We have problems with the microphone. No sound. Try. Trate de arreglarlo y si lo oigo ahí. Porque no se oye. Mario, continue, please. Okay. Hold, correct. Mm -hmm. Chip. Chop. Take. Chop. Choose. Chop. Chi. Chip. Chow. Chip. Chop. Church. Teacher. Thank you. Maybe Mario un poquito más prolongado, el SH. Que se oiga más el, el SH, like sh. But besides that, it was good. Thank you. Nelson, continue, please. Bo. Okay. Uh, ship, shear, mm -hmm. shake, shop, mm -hmm. shoes, shark, she, ship, Share, ship, shop, sure, teacher. Good pronunciation. Thank you, Nelson. Let's see, Rina, continue, please. Ship, share, shake, shop, share, ship, ship. Chair, chip, chop, church, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Rina. Rafa, can you try? Ship, cheer, shake, shop, shoes, chair, she, ship, teacher. Chair, chip, shop, church, teacher. Nice job. Uh -huh. Very good pronunciation. So, Sulma. Con, sorry, Zulma, you just, you just did it, right? Zulma no ha pasado, ¿verdad? No. No. Ok, continue, please. She, 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 Another day I'm going to give you other tips. I also want to tell you about the TH. También quiero que practiquemos ese TH sound. That's another one that sometimes is a little bit difficult. Nehemias, could you fix? Could you fix your microphone? Creo que sí. Ah, okay. Now I hear you. Do you want to practice? ¿Quiere practicar? Practicarlo? Yes. Before we... Okay, and then we go on, guys. We will just listen to Naomi. Go ahead, Naomi. Uh, ship, shirt, shake, shop, shoes, chair, she, hmm? ship, uh, chair, ship, shop, church, teacher. Thank you. Uh huh. Good job, Naomi. Okay, we will stop there with that activity, but we will continue with the book. So let me let me share it over here. Um, okay, one moment. Because right now it's just, okay. I'm just going to go to the right page. Okay, so we're going to start here. Question number one, Maricela. Hi, by the way, good evening. Mar Maricela, how many days a week do you work? ¿Cuántos días trabajo, Heberly? Sería, I work days. I work six, six, days, six days, a days a week. A week. I Repeat. work six, uh, six days 
six days a week. Uh -huh. Correct. I work six days a week. Rosy, what about you? How many days a week do you work? I work five days in a week. Mm -hmm. From Monday to Friday. Those are the days. Uh, no, it's, it's Sunday and Thursday. Ah, those are your days off. Okay, that's that's good. Thank you. Mm. Are you there, Mauricio? Mauricio, are you there? Good evening. Hi, Mauricio. Welcome. I'm sorry, first day. <laughs> it's okay. Nice to have you here. Uh, what about you? How many days a week do you work? Uh, a week. No sé si ahorita. Ajá, uh -huh, I work six days. I work six days. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, okay. A week. A week. Uh, I work six days a week. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. And is Doris there? Está ahí Doris. Doris? No. Okay. Thank you, Mauricio. So, what about you, Alberto? How many days a week do you work? Well, I work uh, all week. All week? Yes. And days off? Saturdays? Because, Sundays? Uh, yes, Sunday, um, Saturday, Sunday, and whatever. Mm -hmm. oh. I, don't, I don't have. Yeah, and a specific, day. and a specific yes. day. It it varies. It changes. Because my uh, my schedule is very hard. Mm, okay. What is your occupation? What is your uh, occupation? I'm, I'm security. Ah, okay. I I, I camera control. Mm, okay, but you work in the mornings. For example, now I'm working. Ah, okay. You're working and checking the security, the surveillance cameras. I, I check the camera. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know. Okay, Nelson, thank you. Now, Katia, how much time do you have to complete? Do you have to complete your task? At work, how much time do you have to complete the activities? The activities in the company. Como <clears throat> una en específico. Uh, uh, it's in a general way. Como eight, eight hours. Uh, uh -huh. Como cuánto, en cuánto tiempo tienes que completar tus actividades. Or maybe tell me about one specifically. Mm. En... Es que siempre es diferente, ¿verdad? Por el tipo de información. Pero se podría decir que, por ejemplo, los lunes, ¿verdad? Mm, sería hacer un reporte, make a report, ¿verdad? Uh-huh. How much time? A lot of time? One hour? Serían two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Uh-huh. Two hours. You can say, I have two hours to complete the reports, for example. Okay. okay. Sería, Repeat. I, uh -huh. have, I have two hours to complete the report. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. Nehemias, can you see the screen now? Or is it, is it still black? Yeah, se ve bien. Gracias. Okay. okay, thank you for telling me. Now, let me see. Daisy, how much time do you have to complete your tasks? 
Um, este, Tell el, me one. Uh -huh. el, sí, no tengo así como una, una hora, pero uh -huh. para ponerle como ejemplo sería tu, tu hour. I have two hours. I have two hours. Eh, to complete eh, the, ay, tengo agua en mis reportes. The reports. Ajá. Ajá. Yeah, that, that is a possibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daisy. René, what about you? Tell me about one activity you have to do and the time that you have to complete it. The time that I complete um, Well, on my day, um, I work with reports and emails. Um, sometimes I have not a, uh, like a time frame to finish that, but maybe through the day uh, on one specific hour I should, I need to spend one report. So it's gonna say that maybe if I start at 5 a.m. to start to work, I know that at 7 a.m. I still have one report that I can do. So let's say two hours. Around two hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Renee. Nehemias, can you tell us about one of your activities and the time? that it takes you? Um, no, uh, I present in once a month. Uh, yo presento resultados uh, al consejo directivo una vez al, al mes. Entonces, okay. recopilo okay. información y, y no, no tengo, bueno, un mes sería para recopilar la información y presentarle resultados. Ok, vamos a... a, a... Cambiarlo, a interpretarlo. Okay. Esa palabra de recopilar podría utilizar la palabra gather. Gather information. Dijo una junta ejecutiva. Eh, consejo directivo. Ah, ok. Podríamos llamarle um, an executive. Executive board. An executive board. O podría ser de magic, magic, wait, management, management board. Podría ser otra palabra. Okay. Eh, wait, sorry. Sorry about the message. It's like that, sorry. Y management, que también sería como eso, como una, como una, una junta directiva, una, alguien que lleva como el mal. Podría ser management board y gather information es lo de recopilar. Okay. So you can say I gather information for the executive board in two hours. Can you repeat? I gather information, uh -huh. information for Executive, 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 board, uh -huh. executive board uh, in two hours. In two hours. Uh -huh. Okay, so that could be the, the translation. Thank you, Nehemias. We will continue here, guys, with the conversation. And if there, if you find new vocabulary, please let me know. Okay, you can also send it by, by chat. So we have Ben and Jeff. It says, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really, on Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, 
I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Extra, each extra hour is around $10. I see, well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, now it is your turn. We are going to start with Nelson and Mario. Nelson, you are Ben, and Mario, you are Jeff. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hi, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That great. Uh, I work for week, day, and sometime on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money, money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hour when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around uh, around ten dollar. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Look, it's difficult. Absolutely. Yes, okay. that's better. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Mario. Okay, just some pronunciation points. This one, guys, is match. Match, that is the pronunciation. And the one that you see here is e, each. Each, y acuérdense el sonido que acabamos de aprender. Each. Solo que va al final. Okay, thank you. Now, let me see. Rina, Zulma. Rina, you are Ben. Sulma, Jeff. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, hey man. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekday and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Sunday, on Sunday, do you work ex extra all? And you, how much money do you they pay for eight ex all? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollar. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much, much time rain. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Mario. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, Sulma, repeat this word. Sulma. This word. Uh -huh. Like I say acá señalando. How do you say it? Hey. Each, 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 uh -huh. each. and this one, each, uh -huh. and now this one here, Four. match, How much? Match. match, yes, match. Okay, Sulma, thank you. Let's continue, Rafa and Maricela. Rafa, you are Ben, Maricela, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, and what? I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On so in on Starlight, work is hours and how much money 
do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. Maricela, I think she's having big connection problems in this moment. Maricela, if you hear me, we don't hear you. We don't hear you anymore. No la escuchamos, Maricela, si me escucha. Okay, um, one moment, Rafa. Rosy, can you take her place? Puede tomar el, el place de Maricela, please. Can you start again, Rafa and Rosy? ¿Empezamos de nuevo o de dónde se quedó ella? No, sin, from the start. Yo soy Ben o Jeff. Eh, ben. Ben. Ben, if I'm not mistaken. Ajá. Ben en Rafa, Jeff. Ok. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week and you? That's great. I work four week days and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much Work to do each ex extra hours is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Rafa and Rosy. Let's move on. Now is your turn, Mauricio. Mauricio and Alberto. Okay, Mauricio, you are Ben, Alberto. Jeff. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? And do you work extra hours? How much money do you pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is there is even much time, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Just this one, Mauricio. Each, that is the, the correct pronunciation of this one, each. Besides that, it sounded very well. Katia, Stacy, can you continue? Katia, you are Ben, Stacy, Jeff. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work for four weeks a day, a days, and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday, do you work extra hours? And um, how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's the pronunciation. Thank you, Daisy, and thank you, Katia. Because of the time, not all of you are going to read the conversation. Okay, we will continue, but do you have questions about the vocabulary? Do you have questions about the vocabulary that you would like to ask? Questions? Uh, the pronunciation. Yes, 
the hora? Oh. Hours. Hours. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, René, Nehemias, Marce, Joa, questions about the conversation, about the vocabulary? Katia? Yo tengo uno. Mm -hmm. eh, yes. Solo para confirmar, ¿verdad? Each es como cada una, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Y around es alrededor, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, mm -hmm. gracias. You're welcome. Ok, so in that case, if you don't have more questions, we are going to complete this. Let me see. René, en Nehemías, number one, how much or how many? What is your opinion? How much or how many? Question number one. How many? For you, how many? And for you, Nehemiah? How many? How many hours? How many? Aha, uh -huh. that is the correct option. How many hours? And then Marce and Joanna, Vladimir, what do you think about the second question? How much do they pay per hour or how many do they pay per hour? Vladimir, uh -huh. how much? you how much and joe what is your opinion how much how much thank you marce do you agree yes. the, the same how much uh-huh good memory that's the one it's an expression about about money right okay so guys today we are going to study or today we're going to continue, continue studying how to use, how much and how many, okay? It's like the second, second part of the explanation. We're going to divide them. We're going to divide them in two. Vamos a, a trabajarlos individualmente y luego ya together, juntos. Okay, so let's start with how much. Okay, we're going to start with how much. We have an explanation here. Can you read the explanation, Vladimir, please? The how much information. Um, how much for uncomfortable nouns? Mm -hmm. uh, money, time, etc. 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 Uh, how much money do you pay page per extra hour, hours, hours? Per hour? Uh -huh. Hours. And how much time do you we have? Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. How much time do we have? Okay, so let's start with, with how much. Now, do you all remember the use of how much? Nos acordamos todo de, todos de how much? Yesterday I gave you an explanation. Ayer les daba como una explicación. Do you have the, the explanation, Joanna? Do you have the use of how much? What do we express or indicate with how much? The English, English version. <laughs> Uh, how much is no count? Uh -huh. And what do you express when you use how much? What are you looking for? Why do you use it? Do you remember? ¿Te recuerdas del uso, Joan? Um, Me imagino que sí de la, del significado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero el uso, no. No, exactamente. Lo que expresamos o. No? No. Okay, no problem. And you, Marce, do you have that? How much? When do we use it? No? Or anyone? When do we use how much? Uh -huh. Yes. 
Aha, uh -huh, in English. If we can try in English. No, in English. No. Is the use uh, how much? Uh, how use um, numbers and uh, objects? Uh, que no tienen una cantidad indicada de eso. Ok, Vladimir. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you very much for helping us. Nehemiah, do you have a comment? Uh -huh. Bueno, creo que aquí es, es, es general. Dice, we use them to ask questions about quantity, uh -huh. amount, uh -huh. number of some time. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's the same because they are both used in the same way. Mm -hmm. So, yes, thank you, Naomi. So, it's a word that we use in questions to ask about quantity, right? Si se recuerdan, quantity era cantidad, quantity. And then I gave you synonyms, okay? But that is the use of how much. Now, here. Here I have uh, information a little bit more about that. Coffee. Let's see. Can you read that, Rafa, please? The information about non-count nouns. Or Katia, can you read it, please? Mm, the explanation. Okay. Non count, count nouns one. Non count, non count nouns refer to things that are difficult to count. Rice, ice cream, coffee. Aha, uh -huh. thank you. That is what Vladimir mentioned, right? Vladimir mencionaba algunas cosas que son difíciles de contar. And here you have examples. So you have rice, ice cream, coffee. And now I have a video. Tengo otro video que les voy a mostrar. Oh, okay, if you're taking notes, I'll give you a moment. I'm going to share with you a link. And please check it out. Vamos a empezar con how much. Okay, so if you finish, I'll show you the, the video. Give me one moment. Let me just get it here. In the meantime, do you have any question to ask? In this moment about the nouns? No? Yo tengo una. Ajá. Sobre la... La interrogante de ayer sobre los insectos, no sé. Si ah, ajá. Eh, yes, I, I actually texted René and I told him that I, I checked I check that and I didn't find any information in which they are considered non-count non nouns. No encontré ninguna que se pudieran tomar como non-count nouns. Así que... Solo serían count, count out. And stars, aunque son muchas, había una información que hablaba de que si uno empieza a contarlas, puede contarlas, aunque nunca cabe, pero si se puede contar, son contables. So stars are also countable. Y no siempre va a ser lógica la explicación, porque hay exceptions. So sometimes it's going to be uh -huh, illogical. Okay, I have the video now. Please play the video. The video lasts about five minutes. Solo quizás vamos a ver como cuatro o tres minutos de, yo les aviso. But click the video and, and check it out.
Yeah. Yes, okay. Perfect, thank you. And there you have it, guys. If you haven't finished, you can look at it later. Okay, si no lo han terminado, lo pueden seguir viendo después. You have a big list of different objects that are considered countable and non-countable. Here you have some characteristics of non-count nouns, okay? Non-count nouns, we can't count them. No se pueden contar. We don't use numbers with them, okay? No podemos utilizar números con ellos. And they don't have a plural form. No se pueden pluralizar. No existe una forma plural de ellos, solo hay una. Milk. No tiene otra forma, that's the only one. Water, the same. Coffee, no hay manera de hacerlo plural. Okay, there's only one. Entonces son, yes, Rafa. Eh, de las excepciones que estaba hablando, por ejemplo, decía que los vegetales sí se pueden contar, pero las frutas no. Uh -huh. Esas son algunas excepciones así raras. Ajá. Yes, les voy a mandar más nochecito un, una página donde se clasifican, se clasifican los, los nouns. No todos los vegetales, hay algunos que no se pueden contar. Por ejemplo, el brócoli es non-count noun. Así que van a haber unos que son también exceptions, aunque sean vegetales. Ajá. Eh, Nehemías, what is your comment? Eh, quizás eh, cuando habla de los vegetales en general eh, es, es no count pero cuando habla individual por ejemplo tomatoes, poteiros eh, sí, sí se, cuando se define el tipo de vegetal sí son contables and not all the time no necesariamente Nehemias. algunas veces no aunque sea la, la manera por ejemplo el apio, celery no no es, no es contable. But I have something, let me see. Voy a ver si se los puedo enviar ahorita mismo. In the, in the group. No creo que después porque se me va a trabar la computadora. Ok, pero no, no siempre. Así que la mejor manera, si ustedes tienen duda, tienen que buscarlo. Tienen que buscarlo porque a veces la regla no va a ser igual. So you have to, to do it. Ah, uh, okay, let me see. I think, creo que sí se los voy a poder enviar ahora. Mm, uh, no, no lo tengo ahí. Okay, ahorita les voy a mandar algo con lo que podemos, los different containers or units of measurement. Tenemos unidades de medidas con las que sí podemos contarlos. So you're going to receive it in the WhatsApp group in a moment. Okay, so going back here, here we have the structure that we will use. How much? We mentioned the, the object. And then we mention do or does, do or does. And then the subject, mention the subject for the question. At the end, the complement. Okay, this is the structure of the question to elaborate the question. I have a list, I have a list over here of common Common non count nouns. Okay, here you have another one. I can also send it by chat. También se las puede enviar más adelante. It's very short. But for example, milk, oil, water, coffee, tea, juice, yogurt, honey, lightning. Do you know what lightning means? When there is a tropical storm, we have thunders and lightning. I'm going to show you a picture of thunders because in Spanish, they are considered countable, but in English, they are not countable. 
Let me see. Uh, okay, this, this is a lightning, lightning. The one you see here, lightning. Thunder, thunder is the sound. Thunder es como el sonido, el trueno. Okay, lightning ya es lo que cae, ¿verdad? What hits the ground. Ese sería lightning. In English, no se puede contar. So, jewelry, jewelry. What is that? Accessories, like uh, earrings, um, necklaces, bracelets, jewelry. The accessories that women use is non-count noun. Friendship, non-count noun. Advice, consejos, no se puede contar en inglés, advice. Energy, money, mail, el correo, is non-count noun. Paper, tampoco se puede contar. Grass, corn, este sería el, el maíz o elote, en inglés no se puede contar. Corn, en soup. La sopa tampoco se puede contar en inglés. Ok, so les pongo estos porque en español sí se puede, pero en inglés we don't, we don't use it like that. <coughs> ok, is there any word that you don't know? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no les haya mencionado? That you want to know what it means? Teacher, what is the meaning of grass or grass? Um, which one? Sorry. Grass. Ah, grass. Okay. Um, es el pasto. Grama. That's okay. grass. Yes. Okay. So, mail. Mail is uncountable. Ahora, lo que les mandé ahí al grupo. Creo que ya llegó. Ajá. Ahí hay unidades de medida. Si ustedes utilizan esos containers, entonces ya ahí ya los pueden volver. Por ejemplo, corn. Si ustedes ven ahí en el grupo, ¿cómo puedo contar el corn? Se dice ear. Ear of corn. I need two ears of corn. Esa es la palabra que se utiliza para ya ser más específicos, ¿verdad? Que ya serían los dos elotes que diríamos nosotros, ¿verdad? Ear of corn. Así que ahí, give me, I want two ears of corn. ¿Okay? Ya con eso ya lo cuento. Así que ahí les mando los containers en el grupo porque debido al tiempo no se los puedo dar yo acá, pero ahí ya lo van a ir revisando un poquito más. Okay, so let's, uh, I have to take the attendance right now, and then I will continue giving the information about this. Okay, so we start with Doris, Doris Guevara, it is Joanna. Present. Thank you, Jennifer Marcela. Present. Thank you, Jose Mario. Present. Katia, thank you. Lisette del Present. Carmen, all right. Maricela del Carmen, Mauricio Rodolfo Present. Castaneda, thank you. Minette, Nehemías Regalo, Nelson Present. Alberto, thank Present. you. Nelson René, Present. Rafael Antonio, thank you, Nelson. Present. René Guardado, Enrina, Aura. Present. Thank you. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rosy, Melendez, Present. right, Vladimir, Antonio. Present. Eda, thank you, and Zulma, Zulma Rodriguez. Present. Present. Thank you. So, okay, going back Present. here. Ajá. Uh, no me mencionó. Verdad que no, siento que no la dije. Let me see, Daisy. Yes. Sí, te hice. Mm. 
Daisy, ya le he mencionado antes en la lista. Sí, soy la primera. Ah, ok, thank you, lo había bajado mucho. Ok, thank you. Okay, all right, ahorita la, la agrego. Sorry, Daisy. Ok, so, um, continuing here. Um, ya le digo, Mauricio, ya, ya le, le digo ahí la pregunta. Lo vamos a ver en un ratito. Ok, so now the question, guys. Here you have the structure. How much? And now mention. Mention one of the nouns. Luego del how much, mencionen algún noun. Can you make a question, please, and send it by chat? Using how much? Make one question using how much. Recuérdense la lista que han visto y utilicen uno de esos, uno de los que no puedan contar. How much? And remember that we are using simple present. Con simple present tienen que utilizar do or does. Depende del sujeto que vayan a mencionar. So please create one question and the answer. And please send it to me by chat. Okay, thank you, Marce, it is correct. Uh, Joanna, the structure, double check the structure that you need. You have to exchange the position of something. Revisa la, hora, la pregunta, Joa, y mira si logras detectar el mistake. And then, please, please send it again. Nehemias. Aha. Excellent. And then Mauricio, yes, it is correct. I'm going to read them so we can have examples. Nehemiah says, how much honey do bees produce? Mauricio says, how much money do, do you need to be happy? <laughs> how much money do you need, Mauricio? A do, el do. Ajá, yo. How much water do you drink? That's also correct. Okay. Katia, how much juice do you drink? I drink a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going good. Uh, René, do you have your question? Mario, please send it. Alberto, send, send the question when you have it. Uh -huh. Yes. Yo no la puedo escribir, tengo problemas con mi teclado. Ah, ok, pero okay, se la puedo say decir. Ajá. Uh -huh. How much energy do you have to work? How much energy do energy. you have? You have to work. Do you have to work? Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. correct. Thank you, Rina. It's correct. And on Friday, I'm going to give you a little bit more details about the answers that we could give. Okay, because this topic is this extends. Okay. Thank you, Rafa, it's correct. Y los que aún no le han enviado, please, please send it when you finish, okay? And I will, I will take a look to it. Okay, so now, before we start to practice, I have to give you a little bit more about count, count nouns. Okay, so how many? 
Remember how many is the same, is the same as how much, but we use it with count nouns. La diferencia es que este sí se utiliza con count nouns. Okay, so here we have the use. Okay, the use, and we use it with count, count nouns. I'm going to give you some examples. Okay, so uh, the characteristics. Characteristics. We have a singular form, they have a singular form and a plural form, okay? Count nouns have two forms, the singular form and the plural form. Next, we can use numbers. We can use numbers with them. So those are the main characteristics. Tienen una forma singular y una forma plural, los count nouns. And we can use numbers. Aquí sí podemos decir one, two, three, four, five, etc. Okay, examples. Doctors need seven clinics in San Salvador. Question. Now the question, how many clinics do doctors need in El Salvador? Doctors need, and that's the answer, seven clinics in El Salvador. Next one, uh, imagine this, we have one, one president in El Salvador. We can count presidents. What is the question? ¿Cuál creen que sería la pregunta? We have one president. Ideas? How many uh -huh. presidents uh -huh. in El Salvador? Very close. Faltó el tú, el do y el subject. Do we have in El Salvador? Uh -huh. But thank you, thank you very much. How many presidents? Siempre recuerden de agregar el do y el subject or does. This is another example. Okay. We want laptops. Now the question, how many laptops do we need? Okay, um, Mauricio, with this information, can you try to, can you try to elaborate the question? No sé si Mauricio cree que puede hacer la pregunta que me había pedido que hiciera. No sé si ya tiene una idea de cómo la podría hacer, Mauricio. Bueno, la pregunta era... Era de cuántos estudiantes. ¿Cuántos estudiantes estamos conectados en esta sesión? Ajá. How many students? Ajá. Ahora, ahí no estamos utilizando Simple Present. Es el, el de el de I. Así que ahí tendríamos que cambiar el do. En este caso, ¿verdad? How many students are there? De class. Porque estamos utilizando el de el de existir que veíamos en el nivel 1. How many and how much can be used in different tenses? Se puede utilizar en todos los tiempos. Sin embargo, como ahorita estamos viendo simple present, solo estamos haciendo las preguntas en eso. But yes, it is possible to use it in other 
tenses. Okay, all right. So are you ready to practice or do you have questions? Do you have questions before we start? Questions? Yes, no? Okay, so in that case, let's continue with, with the worksheet. I sent you a, a worksheet in the, in the group. I'm going to open it. This worksheet is similar to the one that we worked on yesterday. We're going to work on this in groups. I'm going to share the, the worksheet, but give me one moment because it's loading. Okay, but part number one, no sé si la tienen ahí la worksheet, part number one, is about using how many or how much you have to select the right choice. And part number two, you have to elaborate. Okay, I have it now here. Let me, okay. You have to complete the question with how many or how much. And part number two, you have to create five questions using how many or how much, and interview your partners. Las preguntas que creen, se las van a preguntar entre ustedes, entre su grupo. Five, y mezclen how many and how much. Okay, that's, that's all you need to do. Is it clear? Yes? Okay, so the groups, the groups. One moment. Okay, group number one, we will, we will have Daisy, Marce, and Joanna. Group number two, Mario, Zulma, and Vladimir. Mario, Zulma, Vladimir. Okay, group number three, Katia, Mauricio, and Nehemias. Then we will have Nelson, Rina, and Rafa. And then next group, Nelson, Nelson Rene, Rene, and Rosy. Okay, so please open the group or the invitation.
Pero el, el fan. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Which one? Eh, en la seis. To love of bread. Ah, love is como slide. Pero ah, okay. slide es como el pan bimbo que viene en caja. Ah. Y love es como el de panaderías, que es así gordito. ¿Y qué hago yo? Oh. Ajá. <risa> Ajá, loves. Sí, hago. Mm, ok, that's excellent. ¿Y qué tal van? No sé si necesitan ayuda o les habrá quedado alguna duda. Si no, solo los escucho un ratito. Pues tengo duda. <risa> Lo que pasa es que en esa misma de seis. Ah, ok. Por no, las respuestas. O sea, por las respuestas. No, no. Por la pregunta yo sé que no, no aplicaría, pero para llevar una concordancia entre pregunta y respuesta. Mm, pero no es necesaria no. la concordancia, porque como la pregunta yo la hago, pero no puedo ser específica, como que yo ah. diga, how much pizza do you eat? Entonces ah. ya, ya está en la persona contestar como ella quiera, pero la ah, pregunta okay. sería con how much porque no está la medida de, de unit bueno, of measure. Ajá. No, no es está como que le preguntar cuántas porciones de pizza. Exacto. Sino que solo dice ah, la okay. pizza. Y ya en la respuesta, okay. pues ellos ya, ya la utilizan, ¿verdad? Pero, sí. ajá, hay que basarse en el noun. Y si hay una medida, pero si no hay medida, entonces solo. <risa> solo es. Yo les decía a ellos de que, de que me hizo una duda dentro de la cabeza con ajá. el Ajá. Ajá. Si me compro una cora de pan, me dan cinco fans. Ahí sí es contable. Pero quizás es por lo mismo que hablo usted, ¿verdad? Que ahí sería que uh -huh. me dio por coras o por dólares. Ajá, ajá. Ya es. No es solo sí. de mi pan, sino que ya. Ajá. Correcto. Sí, ok. Bueno, entonces, si no tienen otra duda, los dejo entonces que sigan. Y de ahí okay. los vengo a ver quizás ya cuando estén en las preguntas. Quiero oírlas como las hacen. Ok. All right. See you in a moment. Bye. Sí. Do you need help? Eh, teacher, sí. aquí tenemos una consulta. En la, tenemos en la, un de... Ajá. Number six. Eh, number one and number... Eh, number three. Ajá. Eh, aquí pregunta cuánta limonada te, tenemos. Uh -huh. o tiene, eh, tenemos. Ahí contesta que se solamente tiene una botella. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, eh, yo considero que es how much, pero dice Katy que es how many, porque al final está dando una cantidad en botellas. Ah, ok. Sí, es how much. ¿Por qué? Porque en la pregunta estamos utilizando un non-countdown. En la respuesta uno podría ser que específico. Como que si yo dijera, uh, how much pizza do you eat? O how much coffee do you drink? Y uno ya cuando contesta, puede contestar específicamente, por decirlo así. Con una unidad. Entonces, entonces se tomaría como si nosotros no sabemos la respuesta. Porque si sabemos la respuesta, sabemos que sería, está contando la botella, ¿verdad? Porque le menciona una botella. Eh, no, toma, tómenlo como que si quieren utilizar how many, tienen que introducir la unidad de medida adentro de la pregunta. Como la pregunta 2, que dice botella de cubo. Si va Ajá, a la ya, unidad ya ahí, sí. Correcto. Pero si no está dentro de ella, no podemos utilizar how many. Aunque la respuesta que vayamos a dar lleve, ¿verdad? Una unidad. Ajá. Ok. Igual en la pregunta 3, que, que ahí pregunta cuánta carne, cuánta Ajá. carne tiene. Eh, contesta much? que dos filetes, pero sería how much porque está hablando de, de, de un noun no contable. Ajá, y no hay una unidad de medida, solo está en, en general. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, sí Katia. Ahí... Es algo confuso eso. Uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. este, el viernes 
no, antes nos toca hoy el repaso, porque vamos en el día 3, el mier no, miércoles, jueves. ¿Qué día miércoles. es ahora? Ya me perdí. No es martes hoy. Es martes, martes. Ok, entonces. Llevamos el día 4. Jueves, entonces. O es día 4 ahora. Oh, yes. Sí, sí, sí. sí iniciamos sí. jueves. True. True. Ah, pues mañana vamos a seguir practicándolo. Mañana en el, en el repaso que tengo, ahí está otra vez, porque es un tema bien extenso. Ajá. Ok. Ok. Y aquí en, igual, este, solo una pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. y, digamos, si se agrega la S, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, si con contaría como plural y singular, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, solo para aclarar eso. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. you are right. Ok. Ok, so I'm going to let you continue. Thank y you, Mauricio ya se, ya se va ya se ahorita agarrando. Día, Ajá, poniendo al día, yeah. esa es la palabra. Ok, sí. Mauricio. Oh, oh. Si no, ahí cuando nos toque la sesión, ahí yo trato de también ayudarles. Sí, ok, gracias. entonces los voy a dejar. And I'll see you in a moment. Bye. Ok, bye. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Okay. Hi, teacher. You finish. You finish. Teacher. Ya todo. I have you a finish. question. Excellent. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have questions. Um, and number one, mm -hmm. uh, is is how many or how much? How much? Para mí, para mí es how much, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Porque le estamos cuánta limonada necesitamos, independientemente si él nos responde mucha o una botella o mm -hmm. un vaso. Yes, sí, no sé y si, esa si, pregunta, uh -huh. ajá, sí está bien, esa pregunta es la que casi sí, todos los, los teams me han dicho, algunos dicen how uh -huh. many, otros dicen how much, pero para que podamos utilizar how many dentro de la pregunta, tendría que ser la unidad de medida. Tendríamos que dar la unidad, ajá. Adentro también, uh -huh. o dentro de la pregunta, uh -huh. porque ya en la respuesta bien. uno puede ser. Uno puede hacer el noun contable cuando responde o lo puede dejar incontable. Ajá, ok. Ajá, así que sería how much. Y las preguntas también ya las hicieron y se preguntaron. Ay, no, eso no. Ajá. Ah, ok. Yo dije, wow, qué rápido. No. Create five questions. Cada uno va a ser. Ah, okay. Cinco preguntas. Ahorita. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No lo habíamos visto. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. So I'm going thank to you, visit another you. group. Y los vengo a oír okay. en un ratito cómo se preguntan. Okay. okay. See you later. Uh, hi. Hi. Teacher. How are you doing? In which part are you in this moment? Ya van en las preguntas. Yes. Ah, okay. Voy a escucharlas un ratito. You can, you can continue. Okay. Uh, Jennifer, uh, the second sería, uh, how many cups of milk do you use for this? Ay, recipiente, no sé cómo se pronuncia. No, receta. Recipe. Recipe. Uh -huh. Okay. How many cups of milk do you use for this recipe? Okay. 
La tercera sería How many kilograms of sugar come is that eh, paquete? Package. Package. <risa> eh, ¿Cuántos kilogramos de azúcar viene en ese paquete? Pero quizás ahí para complementarlo se podría poner, ay, no sé. Bueno, es que como, como estuviera señalando o diciendo de algo, pero no sé de qué, igual que la de la receta. Uh -huh. Teacher, ¿cómo no. podría complementar eso? Read the question again, please. Uh, how many kilograms of sugar come in that pack? Hey. Ah, ok. Maybe, pero, bueno, utilizando la estructura que estamos ahorita de do, tal vez la cambiaría. How many kilograms of sugar do you use? Do you use? Uh, For one cup of coffee. Ajá, uh -huh, for one cup of coffee or in a cup of coffee, pero ya no utilizaría package. Si con esa de cuánto viene en el paquete, podría ser how many kilometers, kilograms of sugar comes in the sugar package, en el paquete de azúcar. Pero es una, una pregunta un poco distinta. Uh -huh, but it will go like that. La siguiente, bueno, la voy a reformular esta. La siguiente sería, eh, how many students, students are in the classroom? We are uh, 15, no, 17. ¿Cómo se dice? 17. 17. 17. Uh, we are 17 students in this class. Y, y la última sería: ¿How many friends? Do you have? Uh, Are you the last one? Solo tú faltas. Ya se preguntaron todas. No, ella es la primera. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm going to check other groups, but yes, you're going well. See you in, in a moment. Goodbye. Uh, Hi, have you finished? <laughs> uh -huh. What is the question? Eran cinco preguntas cada uno o cinco entre los tres? Cada uno. <laughs> ¿Cómo lo habían hecho ustedes? Cinco en total. Sí, la formulamos entre los tres. Ah, ok. Um, bueno, igual ya creo que ya vamos a a irnos al otro room porque tenemos otras cosas pero si sí, la mayoría van en el primer round de las preguntas, creo que por eso ok, les voy a hacer yo preguntas en lo que les hacemos tiempo a sus compañeros ok Zulma uh, how many friends do you have? Uh, I many, how many two parties? How many friends do you have? What is the answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? How many friends? Um, I um, have. I have more. How many? Many. I have many friends. Two parents. ¿Qué, qué, qué, sorry. ¿Qué entiende que le pregunto? Eh, eh, entendí que mi, por mis padres 
No. How many friends? Ah, amigos. Ajá. Ah, okay. Right. I have, I have many friends. Two friends. Two okay. friends. I have two friends. Two One friends. more time. Una vez más. I have two friends. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, Vladimir. How many cars do you have? Um, I have many two cars and one uh, motorcycle. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Solo lo único, Vladimir, no hay que mencionar el many ahí, a menos que quiera decir muchos. I have many cars o okay. I have two. Two cars. Sí, one... estoy contestando en uh, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. okay. Mario, okay. how much coffee do you drink? Mm. Es... How much coffee do you drink? ¿Cuántas veces o cuántas veces tomo café o? How much? Solo la cantidad. Ajá, solo la cantidad. How much coffee? Three coffee. Three cups. Son tazas, tazas de café. Sí, ¿Perdón? serían tazas. O sería tres veces al día lo que tú quieres decir. Uh, sí. Ah, ok. Eh, Podrías decir... <laughs> Sorry, Mario. I couldn't, I couldn't um, tell you. You can say I drink three... Uh, I drink coffee three times a week, or I drink three cups of coffee a day. That could be the other possibility. So now that everyone is back, um, we are going to check, check the questions to see what you got. And then we will continue in the book. Okay. So, <laughs> I have the first one here, but, okay, number one is, is how much? Does everyone have the same? Todos tenemos lo mismo en la primera, how much? Or is there any objection? Hay alguna objeción about that one? No? Okay, next, René, number two. What do you guys have? Uh, how many? How many? Uh -huh. How many bottles of juice are there in the fridge? Three. Thank you. Alberto, number three. How much? Mm -hmm. Teacher, do you hear me? Uh -huh. Yes, Alberto. Number three is how much? Yes. How much meat do we have? We've got two sticks. Thank you. Rafa, number four. How many? How many bananas? Uh -huh. Thank you. Can you continue, Marce? Number five. How much sugar? How much? Yes, that's the one. Thank you. Daisy, number six. How much bread do we need? Mm -hmm. How much bread do we need? Tina, 
Number seven. How many? How many pens? Thank you. Joanna, number nine. How much? How much? Thank you. Mauricio, number nine. What do you think? Uh, how many? How many bikes? How many bikes? In the garden. That's the one. Uh -huh. Thank you. And then the last one, Mario, number 10. Oh, my. How many? Uh -huh. Okay, so this is what you should have. Do you have some questions? No, mi amor, todavía. Do you have questions about it? ¿Tienen alguna duda de alguna respuesta? No? Okay, so we continue in the book. This is the last activity. Okay, the last activity before we go. We have to elaborate. Elaborate the question and the answer. Okay, Katia, we're going to start with you and choose one participant. Choose one of your classmates. Katia, elabora la pregunta y escoge a uno de tus compañeros para que te dé la respuesta. You can choose okay. anybody. Sería José Mario. Okay. And what is uh, the question? Sería How much money is in the a bank? Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the answer, Maria? How much money is in a bank? Much money. Mm -hmm. You can say there is a lot or much. Uh -huh. There is much money. In, in affirmative statements, much is rarely used. Casi no se utiliza solo much en afirmativos, pero sí se puede. There is much money. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's continue with Vladimir, number two, and choose one participant. Okay. Uh, how many? How much? Perdón. Uh -huh. Paper does a uh, printer. Yeah. Okay. And who is it for? Para quién? Uh, Rina. Rina. Okay, Rina. What is the answer? Thank you, Vladimir. Sería das tú la respuesta o das? Uh, it depends, porque das es para preguntas o um, una negativa. Um, so, I need much the, paper. The printer. The printer needs a need lot. Much. Oh, Or much. Uh -huh. Needs much. Paper. Paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rina, thank you. Let me see. Joanna, continue with number three and select one person. Um, Mauricio, how many hours a day does he work? Mm -hmm. How many? You hear me? Mm -hmm. um, eight hours a day. And the long answer, Mauricio, ¿cómo sería la, la respuesta larga? Remember the structure, Mauricio, the structure that we use in simple present. 
What is the first thing that we mentioned? Repeat, please. What is the first thing that we mentioned? En la estructura de simple present, ¿se acuerda que va primero? No. No, ok. Va el subject, el sujeto, que en este caso sería he. Now we use the verb, he works. He works eight, eight uh -huh. hours a day. Eight hours, ajá, uh -huh. eight hours a day. And that will be the answer. Thank you, Mauricio. Now okay. let's continue with Nehemias. Nehemias, number four, and choose a participant. Uh, Nelson Alberto, uh, how much information is on the internet? Mm -hmm. um, I, I need I need two hours on internet. No. But the information, how much information is oh, on the in internet? Internet. Mm -hmm. How much information? ¿Qué tanta información hay? That's the question, Alberto. What would be the answer? So much. Mm -hmm. There is yes, so much information. information. Uh -huh. That is one possibility. Okay, thank you. Let's continue with Rene. Rene, elaborate the question and choose one person. Right, is the number five, right? Mm -hmm. Is how many days a week do you use rest? Mm -hmm. And who is it for? Uh, let's see. Choose someone that hasn't um, been asked. Right. Um, let's go with Jennifer. Okay, Marcel, can you help us with that one? How many days a week do you rest? Rest one day a week. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well, only one. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I rest, or I will say in this case, Marce, rest one day a week. Okay, thank you. And now let's continue with Nelson. Nelson, number six, and choose one person to answer the question. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, how? Um, how? How many? <laughs> how many? Employees. Employees does your company have? Um, Daisy. Daisy. Okay. Daisy. Thank you, Nelson. Has has many employees. A company. Employees in the company. Has many employees thank you so that will be the answer tomorrow we will we will practice a little bit more the answers okay in this moment the last activity is about a paragraph you have to elaborate a paragraph about the events and activities you and one co-worker do in your company okay that is the activity that we will do at the end of the class, okay? Writing in the chat. Uh, okay. It's over here. Write 
a six line paragraph about the events and activities you and one coworker do in your company. Es un párrafo acerca de actividades o eventos que ustedes y un compañero de ustedes, quien sea, hacen en, el, en la compañía. Okay. And send it by chat. Si lo hacen en el cuaderno, le toman una foto. Si en caso no lo logran digitar. Take a picture of it and send it to me in the group. And I will read them there. Questions about that activity? No? Okay. If you need me, I'll be here. Um, sorry to interrupt. I'm just going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance Perfect. one last time. Aha, Albert. For, ex for example, uh, I write uh, I, I write the the paragraph. paragraph. Mm -hmm. We have two events a week. There is news display and clients. Will I check the camera and my cover? Uh, for example, así puede ser así. Um, um, read it one more time, please. Léalo una vez más, please. We have two events a week. Uh -huh. There is music, play, and clients. Uh, well, I check the camera and I go to work here. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me a little bit about the company and the event and your activities. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So the attendance, we start with Daisy. Daisy Mesquita. Present. Thank you, Doris de Castaneda. Iris Cañas. Present. Thank you, Jennifer Marcela. Present. Okay, Mario, Mario Present. Cruz. Katia Gabriela. Lisette Present. Del Carmen. Thank you. Maricela Del Carmen. Mauricio Castaneda. Present. All right. Thank you. Minette. Nelson Alberto. Present. All right. Nelson René. Rafael Barrientos. Present. Right, thank you. René. René Guardado. Present. 
Rina Espinosa. Present teacher. Rosy Meléndez. Present teacher. Vladimir Rodas. Present. Yanira Cepeda and Zulma López. Uh, teacher. Yes, Nehemiah. Uh, no me mencionó. Yo creo que sí. Sí, pero, pero sí, ya lo tengo acá. Ok. Yo me recuerdo haber dicho su nombre, Nehemiah. No. Uh, no escuché. Ok, pero hoy sí ya. Ahí está. Ok, thank you. So, ok, les mandé en el grupo a quien le tocaba el, el, la, la sesión, the private session. So, Mario, can you stay today? Is it possible for you to stay today? Este, eh, sí, no lo digo que sí. <laughs> ok. All es right. que está lloviendo algo fuerte. <laughs> ah, ok. Sí, pues. No sé si podría cambiar con alguien. Ok, no hay problema. Si no te puedes quedar, it's ok. ¿Hay alguien que quiera quedarse ahora en vez de Mario? No. Ok. All right. No problem. Hola. Yes, Katy. Eh, como a mí me toca mañana, ¿verdad? Ajá. Me podría quedar. Ok. Igual. In that case, let's stay to, today, Katia. Sounds good. Um, ok, so thank you for sending the, the paragraphs here. I have Marcela's, Mario's, and Katia's uh, paragraph. I'm going to read them after class. So guys, the other ones, take a picture. Take a picture of the paragraph and send it to me by chat. Okay, send it in the group. So for now, you guys are dismissed. You can go, except for you, Katia. We will stay. If you don't have questions, we will see each other tomorrow. Oh, and guys, remember, ya mañana te terminaríamos la primera sección, la primera unidad. Así que para que vayan... Ya empezando la plataforma, si no la han hecho, ya mañana ya es la primera semana. So please, please do it. Okay, everyone, have a, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Have a good night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Good, good night. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Ok, Mauricio, lo voy a, a sacar. <risa> Adiós, o no feliz. sé si tenía una pregunta. No, no, no terminando. Ah, de, okay. de, 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 ahorita le mando la fotografía. Ajá, sí, ahí mándeme, yo lo reviso. Ok, ah, Mauricio, okay. see you later. Good bye, bye. Ok, so Katia, how are you? ¿Qué tal vamos? Bien. En el Simple Present, vamos bien. Ya casi cambiamos. Ya pronto vamos a empezar a ver otro tema, otro tiempo. Así que ya. Sí, este, recordando uh -huh. eh, lo de eh, módulo pasado y, y ahora sí me, me confundí un poco. Este, Con lo de las unidades. Sí. Ok, si quieres sí. podemos eh, reforzar eso las unidades de medidas y las preguntas. Ok, bye. Entonces dijimos que tenemos dos opciones, ¿verdad? Está how much y está how many. Ok, están es how much, how many. Según la regla de la gramática, how much, ¿cuándo se utiliza? Es con... No countable. No. Uh -huh. Correcto. No count nouns. Eso es lo que dice la regla. Si hay algo que no se pueda contar, es how much. Ahora, si sí lo podemos contar, es el 
el otro, ¿verdad? How many? Countable. Uh -huh. Ajá, con count nouns, or countable nouns. Ok, la... Yo creo que la confusión está más que todo en how much, ¿verdad? How many creo que sí, sí. sí lo entiendes bien cuando va how many. Pero sí. la parte de how much que yo entendí que te confunde es, es cuando un no contable se vuelve contable, pero que se ocupa how much y a veces how many. Eso. Me, me dejé llevar por la respuesta. Uh, y, y usted me explicó que, que, que si fuera contable, ¿verdad? Lo, lo aplicaría en la pregunta. Ajá. Entonces. Uh -huh. Ok. Mm, Podría decirte la, la, la respuesta es como independiente. No va entrelazada, por decirlo así, con la pregunta. Porque primero hasta va la pregunta usualmente y luego va la respuesta, ¿verdad? Pero, pero el ejercicio como que traía un poco esa dificultad o traía eso por lo mismo, ¿verdad? De, del aprendizaje que estamos haciendo. Ok, lo que quiero que trates de como de separar es que how much, how much lo tienes que utilizar cuando solamente menciones el noun. No va ninguna medida de nada. Ya voy a poner unas acá para que podamos ver la distinción. Ok, si yo estoy hablando de leche y no voy a decir nada, ni botellas, ni, ni cucharas, ni nada, es how much, how much milk does the baby need. Ok, how much milk does the baby need. Aquí está la pregunta. Para contestar, aquí ya pueden haber muchas versiones porque hay diferentes opciones. En el, en el grupo yo mandé un, bueno, mandé dos fotos y está la primera como categoría que dice de que se pueden contabilizar los nouns por contenedores y ahí aparece bottle. Está también cup, carton. ajá, de carton, yeah. ajá, y cabales es la que estoy viendo. Ok, entonces estas son medidas, ya con esto yo ya puedo contar o medir un líquido por botellas, por copas, vasos, cucharas, etc. Ok, entonces para contestar, Katia, ¿qué podrías decir? How much milk does the baby need? <coughs> Podría, podría contestar, the baby need a lot milk. Ajá. Okay. O, the baby need a ten bottles of the milk of day, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. so, si yo no quiero utilizar ninguna medida y solo quiero dar una respuesta como medio vaga, podría ser a lot, ¿verdad? De bastante, o... Or... A lot of milk. O si quizás fuera poquito, yo diría, the baby needs, needs a little, a little milk. Pero no estoy siendo específica. Pero si ya tú quieres ser específica, se puede. No hay problema. Entonces ya podría ser, the baby needs ten Bottles of milk. Ahora. Sí, uh -huh. uh -huh. eso yeah. es eh, básicamente lo que me faltaba entender, ¿verdad? Que la respuesta puede variar en, la, en cómo usted contesta, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. la pregunta sí no puede, eh, porque ya, lo, ya usted necesitaría convertirlo a contable, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. esa conversión. Si ya uh -huh. la pregunta lleva la conversión, por decirlo así, una unidad como bottle, cup, glass, entonces yo ya puedo contar botellas, ya puedo contar glasses, cups. Entonces, como ya lleva algo que se puede contar, ya <coughs> cambia la versión. Es como que ya yo dijera, how many... Cups 
of coffee do you drink in the mornings? Okay. Coffee is non-countable, pero ya le agregué en la pregunta una unidad de medida que es cups. Y eso sí puedo contar. Entonces ya aquí, como ya va incluido, entonces ya va how many. Sí. Ya me quedó bastante claro. Pues sí, ya está mejor. Es de, es de practicarlo. Sí, es que este tema es, es bastante largo, siento yo, hay bastantes cosas. Y va como montado encima de la base de do en, en das, porque también eso ya va ahí, ¿verdad? Ya van como dos sí. cosas juntas. Y okay. siento que fue hace bastante que vimos eso. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, es de repasar, ¿verdad? Sí, Todo yeah. lo, lo que vimos. Yes, you have to practice. Can you try to give me two examples, Katia? Antes que nos vayamos, can you try to give me two? two uh, las hice cuando estábamos con nuestros compañeros. Oh, okay. Can you read? Se, la, se las puedo leer. Uh -huh. eh, sería, how many books do you like read? How many books? Do you mm -hmm. like to read? Mm -hmm. Y también puse, how much chocolate do you want? How much chocolate do you want? Uh -huh. Si ¿Sí tienes y, las cinco. Sí. Mm -hmm. How many eggs do you eat today? Ah, ok. En esa, Katia, cuando utilizamos simple present, si dices today, se oye como comes hoy, pero ya es noche. Entonces es mejor utilizar un día como how many eggs do you eat on Tuesdays? Friday. On Fridays. Friday. Pero si okay. yo digo ya así, como que se oye más en pasado la pregunta. Ok. Entonces, today, pasado. Ajá. O sea, sí, no, ah. no se ocuparía así. Eh, suena raro cuando usted lo dice. Ajá. Okay. Y la otra que puse fue, how much fruit do you have in the fridge? Uh -huh. Yes. Podrías utilizar esta mejor en vez de today, this day. This day, ok. Uh -huh. How many, como cuánto comes este, este día, verdad? Okay. Ahí estaría mejor. Okay, Katia, so in that case, we will stop here. I hope that it helped you. Y mañana practicamos un poquito más para que reforcemos aún más, okay? Um, questions before we go? No, siento que este, ya lo entendí mejor, ¿verdad? Cuando usted lo explicó con los compañeros, entendí más o menos, ¿verdad? Ente, siento que lo puedo llevar mejor y... Es de practicar, siento yo. Uh -huh. Practicar, yes. Ok, yes. Katia, so in that case, it's time to go to sleep. ¿A qué hora se levantas mañana? 4 a.m. 4, ok, yo a las 5. Las dos tenemos que levantarnos bien temprano, entonces. Es hora yes. de ir a buscar la cama. Ok, okay. Katia, so see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Adiós. Sweet dreams.